this is wild. This is not one of mine, that's sure. Uh, yeah. And the, uh, oh. Oh. Oh, I think the, uh, uh, okay. I give up. Hello there and welcome back to this devlog series. Well, if you're new here, I will tell you a little bit of what I'm doing. Basically, I started working on my own game about two months ago and now I'm here. I decided to open this YouTube channel to share my game development journey with you and why not? Inspire someone. My Unity game is called Astoria and is going to be a survival sandbox with a procedural map generation. As you can see the world is composed of many floating islands, even though they are at the very early design stage, but I can say all the assets need some refactoring as well. What I'm thinking for this game is to make different island types with some interesting mechanic and today I want to show you what I did in these few days. But before we get started I want to say a big thank you to anyone who is supporting me even just by watching my videos. Really, you're awesome. Alright, enough talking for today, let's get started. Um, this week was more productive than the last one. I'm trying to avoid zero productive days and that's my goal. And this week I focused on UI systems, stats bars, inventory interaction interface, you know, everything related to UI. The quick inventory is now working, you can change slot by rotating the mouse wheel or just by clicking numbers. The only thing to do is properly physically switch items. So I added a property to objects you can pick and when I point to them they show me a little icon and a very short text to pick that up. So when picked, it's going to be to appear in my inventory in the first free slot. I added then more objects to, to test that out, like this two minute asset that is supposed to be an apple tree. And you can see that you can swap items and throw them by dragging outside the inventory panel. Right now, when an object is dropped, I instantiate the related game object in front of my player. By the way, I still have to figure out whether to make a sort of package with items in it or spawn every single one. I am more for the package, like a lot of games do. And I would really uh, grateful to you if you leave a comment down below with what you think is better. At some point I saw that when the inventory was open, the Raycast wasn't disabled, so I was able to pick an item while throwing one. <laughs> I fixed this problem just by adding a boolean checking if the inventory was opened. Awesome! With that done, the throwing system was finally working as I wanted to and now when I want to add a pickable object is a lot easier. Alright, it's time to spawn some knives randomly all over the island and see if I'm able to pick them up. I added the knife prefab to my object spawner script on the gravity island, give it some numbers to set it up like how many knives I want to and stuff like that and hopefully we're good to go. Okay, the spawning seems to be good. Maybe we have some scale problems, just guessing. However, I want to try the pickup system. Seems to work perfectly, that's nice. Let's move on. While stress testing my inventory trying to find any possible bug, I ran into this one. Basically, when I start dragging an object outside the inventory or even inside and then close it while dragging you can see a funny glitch i decided to fix this just by not letting the player to close the inventory if he's currently dragging something all right that's everything for this episode if you want to see more just subscribe to my channel go check previous downloads and that's it i really hope you enjoyed and see you next time oh by the way, have a great day.